Serious what are some scary, horrifying, creepy things that have happened to you, or in general, that could have a plausible explanation, but still freak you out. I suffer from insomnia, when I sleep less than 2 hours in 3 days I start hallucinating, and I'm completely unaware I'm hallucinating. Once, I was about to lay in bed, and found myself sitting in the living room in the dark, I know I lost consciousness and walked there, but I can't help to think I teleported. When I was about 12, I had one of those long, fun filled family days. Basically, we left our house at midnight to go fishing, and didn't get home until about 3 a.m. the next day, swimming, hiking and etc all day. I didn't sleep during that time period, so I was up for about 48 plus hours. When we did make it home, I went to sleep in my cousin's room, and he had one of those movie posters for the Flintstones movie on his wall. I sat there and watched the Flintstones move in that poster, talking and laughing for a while before I realized that it wasn't a TV. I slept on the couch after that, and refused to sleep in his room, until that poster was gone. I know it was sleep deprivation causing the hallucinations but still. I don't have insomnia, but I remember one time a few years ago, when I experienced something similar. It was around midnight, and I was sitting in front of my computer gaming. I was starting to get sleepy, so I was going to finish up whatever I was doing in the game, and then go to bed. Next thing I know I'm sitting in my chair in my underwear just staring at a dark screen and it's 3.30 am. There was no sense of any passage of time, and I had no memory of getting undressed, turning my computer off, or going to bed. I have absolutely no fucking idea what happened and it still kind of creeps me the fuck out. One summer I worked a graveyard shift at a factory, and went to college during the day. I know I easily took years off my life that summer. Not uncommon to not sleep for two days at a time. Unfortunately, I did that multiple times. At the worst, I would hallucinate and realized I was narrating my life, but in a really bizarre audiobook way. Best way I can describe it. The kicker was that at the end of the summer I passed a kidney stone due to all the canned food and energy drinks I consumed to make it through, and I was poor. I like to think it was worth it. In all seriousness, it was one of the most unsettling and creepy feelings. It was the first time I actually felt how fragile your mental health can be. Sleep is fucking important try to get as much as you can. I did this once, in a car. I was working two jobs, and was getting sleep deprived. At the end of my graveyard shift, I start driving home. I wake up in my driveway, in my car, with no recollection of driving home. I've never let myself drive in that condition again. Here's my best. Would love a plausible explanation. BTW this is back when I lived in New Zealand. Walking home forest at night with a friend at like 2am. Don't even ask. We were about 14. We were having good time. Talking. Etc. When out of nowhere our friend shows up and starts talking to us. Our friend started chatting with us. And I felt a really strong sense of euphoria. This friend knew both of our names, and things that he shouldn't have like exact details of inside my room, and things that happened to me, before I moved into the country. Then he was just gone, and we both collapsed, physically exhausted. It was then, that we realized, that we had never met this friend and we were still 10 kilometers from town and another 2 kilometers from our campsite. We just lay there for so long, recovering. I never actually properly saw my friend I kind of just knew he was with us, and I can't recall his voice either, all I remember is him asking to take us to his house just turn left. My real friend luckily had the sense to not let me go. That left turn led to this unfenced lookout with like a 5 meter drop to rocks. Even want to think about what would have happened if I had listened. Scary shit. Many years ago, my then wife was out of the country on business. I was sleeping alone in bed, with the bedroom door locked, and all the outside doors locked. In the middle of the night, something woke me up. At first, I couldn't tell what it was, but as I started looking around, I saw a shadow on the wall, that shouldn't be there. Some clothes I hanged and forgot about, was my first thought. Then I remember there was nothing to hang anything on that wall. So I looked more carefully. I did not want to turn on the light, because I knew. If I did I would fully wake up and have a hard time going back to sleep. As I looked, 
Trying to make sense of the shadow, I could vaguely discern a humanoid form. Yeah, that looks like a head, and arms, and... And then the thing moved toward me, and a face came up directly in front of my face. I completely lost control of my body. I felt myself jump straight up, my back against the wall, and I think my body was trying to literally climb up the wall. In the middle of all that, my brain finally made the connection and I recognized the face. It was my wife, who had come back one day earlier for some stupid reason. She was saying it's just me, it's just me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I understood the words, but as I said, I had lost control of my body. Finally I felt my legs going limp, and I just fell on the bed, shaking and mumbling something incoherent. It took me a long time to regain control. Anyway, she had to come back one day early, didn't want to make me go pick her up at the airport, because she was going to be in very late, walked into the bedroom very quietly, and decided to sit against the wall and watch me sleep. Biggest scare of my life. Moved into a cottage on the mountain. My backyard was a tree line. The moon lit everything so beautifully well, it hardly seemed like night at all. I began having recurring dreams. It was the same dream every single time. In my dream I would see myself laying asleep in my bed, and then it switched from third person view to first person view. In the dream, I awoke to a whispering female voice. The thirst hit me. In the dream it was unbearable. I would climb out of bed, open the french doors, and head to the kitchen sink, to get a glass of water. As I neared the sink, the voice would get louder and louder, but I still couldn't make it out. It was as if it were a foreign language, but not one that I had heard before nor since. Then, standing in my kitchen, and looking out the window right above the sink to the tree line in my backyard well lit by the moon's light, the voice suddenly became clear. She said the devil is in the woods. At this point, a shadow darted quickly behind the tree line. I would then wake up from my dream, standing in my kitchen in the exact spot that I was in the dream. This happened almost every week for the entire duration of time that I lived in that house. It also always happened close to or right at 3am. I have been having dreams about the same kind of women voice since I can remember. Approximately since I was 6, my dreams don't contain any real life images. The dream is always the same, except when I had been severely sick, and it turned into sleep paralysis. There were some kind of creatures around me, and tall black figure approached me, and just stared at me, while I couldn't move. I still hear the voice and the most fucked up thing is, that it started to speak to me in real life sometimes, every month or so. I can't understand anything but it just fills me up with pure dread. To preface, I'm a suburban slash city boy. I've always lived surrounded by people and lights. So, I visited my ex mill in rural Georgia over the summer couple years back. We are talking deep 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 rural south. No light pollution, so you can see a billion stars and the actual Milky Way across the sky. Well, the night I went it was one of those slim crescent moons, so it was even darker than normal. I can't see my hand at the end of my outstretched arm levels of dark. I'm walking their little rat dog around the yard along the edge of a forest, and I'm probably 200 yards from their little trailer, which is the only source of light besides my flashlight. This little rat dog stops dead in his tracks and starts trembling. He looks up at me with his bug eyes popping out. I hear a rustle of leaves and a twig snap, maybe 20 feet to my left. I scoop the rat up, and start power walking back to the house, looking in all directions with the flashlight. Once I get halfway back, I hear a blood cuddling, high pitched scream from hell. It sounded like a woman was getting stabbed. Oh shit, this is some hills have eyes shit, and I'm gonna die. I ran as fast as I could back to the trailer. X Mill told me it was probably a bobcat. They scream like that all the time, apparently. Bobcat, cougar, fox. For real fun, coyotes sometimes sound like kids laughing. My dad and I were talking about my grandfather one weekend. My dad lived with his parents at the time as money was very tight. My grandfather was in the hospital for pneumonia and heart problems, which he was no stranger to as he had survived a few heart attacks at this point, due to a mix of diabetes, prescription meds, and heavy drinking. We both heard what sounded like coughing come from where his room is. This was somewhat late and my dad, my sister Zed and I were the only people there. My dad and I were creeped out the day the least. 
I joked that my grandfather had died and he was haunting the house. Not a minute later, the hospital calls. My grandfather hadn't died. In fact, he was being difficult with the nurses and he wanted to call to talk to my grandmother about something. I don't actually know what caused the coughing sound, other than us just hearing things, but the fact that the hospital called so soon after I said he died was the creepiest part. The devil dwells inside the wood and waits until the moment's good to peer upon you as you stood, not sleeping as a person should. He calls to you and there you stand, consciousness held inside his hand to tug out your soul by a strand and take you to his native land. She lives inside the devil's lair to watch him as he'll prepare the reaping of you with great care so she warns you of when and where. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to turn on notifications so you'll be sure to know when the next video comes out. Want to watch some more? Check out my other videos. I really do appreciate everyone who helps make these videos possible. And as always, thanks for watching.